Hi Year 11, Mr Wilson here. I've got some halide tests for you today. So what I've got is three boiling tubes which each contain some silver nitrate. So that is an aqueous solution of silver uh, one plus cations and nitrate one minus anions. I'm going to add to them three halide salt solutions. So I've got potassium chloride, potassium bromide, and potassium iodide. We're going to watch what happens on each of them. This is how we test what halide is in a salt. So first I'll take one of my boiling tubes. I'm going to take a pipette full of potassium chloride. And I'm actually going to come around and show you this nice and close to the camera. Here we go, here's my boiling tube. If I add my potassium chloride, we can see straight away it looks milky or cloudy. That was potassium chloride. This one is potassium bromide. We're going to see a similar thing, but we should see that the colour is slightly different this time. So again, I'll come around close so you can see it up really close. I hope this is focusing well. There's my test tube. Let's add some potassium bromide in. Again, it looks milky or cloudy. But if we compare the colour, it's clearly different. Potassium chloride was white. Potassium bromide is cream. Finally, potassium iodide. Here's the boiling tube. Let's add the potassium iodide in. Again, it's going milky or cloudy. This time, it's yellow. So we've seen a progression in the color from white to cream to yellow. Now a precipitate tells us that an insoluble substance is forming within the solution. So in each case what's happening is that uh, we've got a solution containing silver cations and nitrate anions and another one containing potassium cations and halide anions. When the silver anions and the halide anions come together, they form a solid because together the silver halides are insoluble. So the ionic bond that is forming in a silver halide is too strong for water to break apart and we form a solid in the solution. That's a precipitate, it's a solid that forms in a solution. We can see the three different colours, white for chlorine, cream for bromine and yellow for iodine. So to test for a, uh, what halide is present in a solution, we take the solution of a halide we add it to silver nitrate and we look at the colour of the precipitate formed. White for chlorine, cream for bromine, yellow for iodine. I hope that was clear.